after every surgery is completed, the entire room is stripped out of all disposable items and every surface and item in the room is subject to cleaning in preparation for the next patient. This court, this came down from the OR, and we put the red bags in the sore room here. And this is the mop and linen, and this go in this other sore holding room. Okay. This stuff come down from the OR, dirty, and this is a grill set. And they usually have the dirty on top of the clean. And we take all the dirty stuff out and we put it in the water. And then we start cleaning it. Run the pipe cleaner through it. Make sure all the blood is out of it. Wipe all the stuff off and put it back in the basket. And all this go back over on the clean side. After items are cleaned by hand and brushed to get all the debris off, they go into this dishwasher-like machine called an autoclave where they are um, washed with soap and detergent and very high temperatures. The cycles are automated and you can see the printout here of how hot it is, how long the cycle is, when the soap is added. This is our um, washer disinfector. When the dirty instruments are clean, it's basically like a dishwasher. It goes through the cycle just like your dishwasher would. They'll come out on a conveyor. The clean instruments will be on a rack like this. Then we'll proceed from there after they cool. Then each, each assembler, like Joni sitting here, she's reassembling the trays. Most trays have a, a sheet that tells you exactly what to put in them but not all of them. So after she inspects it and makes sure it's clean, dry, then she'll proceed to rewrap it in this blue wrap. Everything's wrapped in this disposable um, wrap. It's a double layer wrap, taped. She'll, there's an indicator that goes inside that shows that it's been exposed to the steam. It'll turn black when it has. These are our steam sterilizers. Most instrumentation today is steam sterilized at 270 degrees for four minutes. This would be an example of a sterile pack after it's been exposed to steam in a the sterilizer. There, when this starts, there's little white lines on the tape. It turns black to show you that it's been exposed to the steam. And inside the pack, there's the indicator. It starts out white if it hasn't been exposed and turns black to assure that it's been sterilized properly. And once it's cool, we put it back on the shelf for the next usage. Hi, my name's Eric. I work here at Frederick Memorial Hospital. And these are case cards for each case that we have to be done today. Uh, they come up from downstairs in that sterile processing. They're all have been sterilized and are wrapped and and we have various indicators that show us so that we know they're sterile. For example, these are what we call blue wrapped, and it has a special tape that goes around it which changes color, and these lines let us know that it has been through the sterile processing. And then we have trays, metal trays, that have both a, a uh, uh, indicator on the outside of the tray and a, and a specific uh, 
glass that has to be broken in order to get in the tray, and that again tells us that it's been through the correct process. And each one of our supplies, uh, depending on the case, there's many different supplies that the surgeons need to use, and they all come all individually wrapped, and they both they have an expiration date on them so that we know that they're uh, not only have been correctly sterilized, but that they're being used before that expiration date. And that covers gowns for the operation room personnel to wear, draping, various uh, supplies that are needed for the case. And then we also have a pack that covers each one of our sterile tables. And they're also, of course, been through the sterile process. And inside this pack is the various supplies needed for, for any case, the, the sundries that you would need for, for any of them. And so again, we, that's how we know that we've got the right materials in there. So once the room is cleaned and ready for the next case to go on, that cart of supplies then gets wheeled into the operating room to be set up for the next patient. Okay, we're going to set up an OR in an aseptic fashion for a shoulder procedure, arthroscopic. Initially, what we're going to have to do is open the sterile field. Our sterile field is over here. We place all of the items that we want to put on the sterile field and we open them as close to the surgical time as possible so that they have minimal exposure to our outside non-sterile environment. This is our table that the surgeons and the surgical team will be working off of. We're going to open a sterile pack that has all of our basic items that we will need during the surgery. These are custom packs, customized for each procedure. Anything below the level of the table is considered not sterile. So anything that we're going to be using and working with is going to have to be on top of this table. We have a sterile pack that is covered with a clear plastic dust cover. We're going to take that off. I'm going to leave it open. We're going to gel our hands first. to make sure that our hands are as clean as possible. The only areas that we can touch are the outer wrap. Everything in the operating room and from sterile processing is covered so that we can easily open it and maintain sterility, sterility of the inner package. We take our hands below the table height and unfold from the center out, making sure that every area is covered. As I said, our sterile supplies are wrapped in the same fashion. We release the tape, and every time we open a product onto the field, we try to make sure that we're covering our hand like a sterile mitt to place this on the field. There's an indicator inside of each pack that we sterilize here within the hospital. And once you work up here, you know that the colors of the indicator will tell you whether sterilization has been achieved. Our color is black for this particular indicator, so I see that this has changed to black. The writing is black, so we can place that on the field. Anything that comes from a manufacturer, we are assured of sterility and there will not be an indicator, but it's wrapped in the same fashion. Outer dust cover, inner package, hold it, end up with a sterile mitt, and you place it on the field. Anytime you're placing items on the field, you don't want to pass your hands or your arms over the table. When passing a sterile field, you should always face the field so that you can maintain the sterility. You want to make sure that your clothing doesn't touch it. If you're passing with your back to the field, you cannot be assured that your clothing did not touch the sterile field. The first thing she does, each little packet has a sponge in it and a nail cleaner. First scrub of the day, first thing you want to do is Rinse the hands, make sure any surface dirt or contaminants are off. And she's using the fingernail cleaner to clean underneath all the fingernails. She's then going to apply soap to the sponge. 
and proceed to scrub her hands. Starting again first with the fingernails, then working her way down to individual fingers, the backs, fronts, and between the fingers. She will continue her scrub, the back of the surface of the hand, the palm of the hand, the circumference of the wrist, and gradually work her way down to the elbow. Once she's finished scrubbing the one arm, she will switch hands and repeat the procedure on the other side. Try to keep both hands elevated so that if any runoff or any water that drips down will move away from the hands and toward the elbow. Once the scrub is completed, she will discard the sponge. And rinse each hand individually, again starting from the fingers, wrist, down to the arms and the elbow. Being careful to keep both hands up in the air so any runoff drips away from the hands. Again, she will dry each hand individually. Repeat the same pattern, starting with the fingers, the hand, down to the elbow. She switch, use the other end of the towel, the clean side of the towel, and repeat the process again. Once she's finished, she will begin the process of putting on her gown. It's folded in such a way that where she grabs it is on the inner surface. Put her arms in, being careful to keep her arms within the cuff. I'm going to tie her up here. Again, anytime I reach or grab the gown, it's on the inside surface. Making sure that the outside remain sterile. Using closed glove technique, first the right hand, then the left hand. To complete the process, she's going to cover the exposed area of the back gown, tie it off. Now that she's sterile, she's able to handle the supplies that have been brought in for the next patient and she'll finish setting up the room and we're ready to do surgery on the next patient.